Okay, so I'm doing a first lesson with Hogan. I'm gonna work on a few things. So I'm working on him, one game called Room Service, where I'm gonna bring the food slowly down towards him. And what I want him to do is hold still in his sit and not jump up and try to take it from me. That's an impulse control game. Uh, the other one is I'm gonna hold food out and I want him to make eye contact with me. And then I'm just gonna go through and maybe work on his down. I'm just gonna see how I feel when I get part way through there. I might start with a nose target too, just getting him to hit his nose. I'm using the clicker. Uh, he's super smart, so I wanna use the clicker because it'll quick, it'll uh, make our training a lot faster. Okay, you don't have to use it when you get home. It, you don't need to use it. <laughs> service game I'm bringing it slowly down towards his face and all he has to do is sit still so if he jumps up I move the treat away good boy and as long as he can sit as it comes down towards his face he gets the food if he moves towards it like he jumps up or he starts shifting or bouncing up then I take it away can you see my hand I might move down a little lower so it's easier to see so I'm moving it slowly towards his face yeah, you're a little distracted there, so that was easier for him. Good boy. So when I first started playing this, we've been playing it for a little while today, he was just like jumping, jumping, jumping. And I don't want him doing that when there's food around. We're going to work on a leave it too, but his manners around food, I would say, are pretty poor. And I don't want him trying to take things from people. He needs to learn to hold himself still when he wants something and defer to you. So same same with his leash walking when he wants to go somewhere or get something. He needs to defer to you and hold himself still. And that's a skill that he needs to practice. So you can see he's getting a little pushy there, right? Like he's, he's trying to reach up and take it from me, keeping his paws on the ground because he's kind of figured out the game. But what I want him to do is just hold himself real, right back. He gets frustrated and you can tell he's getting frustrated he starts vocalizing as soon as he's feeling frustrated with something he starts barking he was barking a lot when i first started this this was earlier today he just wasn't on camera good boy see i'm gonna get him to come a little closer he's moving away from me because he's getting kind of frustrated that's my city good boy so i'll play this a couple more times he's just getting a little frustrated so i don't want to push it very nice good boy very good boy so I'm not clicking with that one. The reward, the food's right in front of his face. So I'll use a clicker when I'm holding, when the food's somewhere else. Yeah, good boy, that's nice. Well done, good boy. So the other game I'm gonna play, I'm gonna hold the food out to the side like this. And yes, I want him to make eye contact with me. Yes, and not look at the food he's very focused on the food so I want him making eye contact with me and not looking at food. yes well done good boy yes good boy okay he's doing really well with that smarty 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 pants yes well done good boy yes good boy well done smart puppy smart puppy I think I said this in a video I made earlier today, but he doesn't like to be touched um, physically while he's working. That's it's uh, punishing for him. So while you're training with him, I wouldn't try to go for pets. Um, you want to do food or toys for him, and that's really common with working dogs. They don't like to be um, physically handled while they're working because they're very serious about their jobs. He's also a big time counter surfer, so I've noticed. So we're gonna work on that as well. So I'm going to do a little leave it game with him. So what I'm doing is I have some treats in my hand. I'm going to show him my hand. And then when, if he tries to take it from my hand, I'm going to close it. And when he backs off, I'm going to open it. So I'm going to move him so that you can kind of see a bit better. Good boy. Good boy. 
So I'm going to put the food down. My hand is shut in a fist here. And I'm not, I mean, I'm trying to keep it still. He's like pushing me a little. So as soon as he can back off of this at all, then I'll open it. And then when he comes for it again, I close it. What I want him to do is make eye contact with me and back off the food before I mark it. So once he starts to figure out this game, then I'll add a verbal cue to it. But for now, I'm just I'm just gonna play it because <laughs> he's a little pushy with food. He um he needs some manners with food before we can use it for a reward. Good boy. I'm just prompting him by using some sounds with my I'm using going just to get him to look at me but I'm gonna fade that out as quickly as I can because I don't wanna be prompting him. I want it to be automatic, he just looks at me. Then it's kind of like asking for permission, which is what we're going for. Yeah, good job. Very smart. Good job. So, I love working with these dogs, he's so smart. Okay, leave it. Good boy. Oh my God, I love working with him, he's so smart. You are so smart. You're a smart boy. You are, I like working with my old dog, aw, oh, makes me sad. Okay, leave it, good boy. Leave it, good boy. Well done. Leave it, good boy. Leave it, good boy. Well done, puppy. Good job, good job, boy. He's a good boy. So even doing a little chest scratch there, I get no sign that he enjoys that. Not a tail wag, his ears don't flick back, he does nothing. He does not want to be touched. <laughs> so, so we'll just, no touching, no touching, no touching, thank you. Keep your petty paws away from me. <laughs> That's a good boy. He does a, like a pretty solid shake a paw. I noticed he's using jumping and barking as his main ways to um, get attention and to get to get you to listen to him. So what we want to do is really heavily reward different behaviors that are not as much of a nuisance. So so a nose target would be one, just sitting and looking at you, like coming to making eye contact can be another. So just things that you reward a lot that you ask him for a lot, he'll start to use those to communicate with you when he needs something. Instead of doing the jumping or or the barking. Um, which can be kind of annoying and we don't want to reward those by like doing what he asks. So barking at you to go outside or jumping at you to pet him or for kisses or whatever. Oh, he's a handsome boy. You are. Okay. We'll try this. Leave it one more time. Leave it. Very nice. Well done. Leave it. Very nice. So he caught himself when I said leave it. He like went to get it and then he's like, oh, okay. And back right off. Very smart puppy. So I'm going to change the game. I'm going to put these on the floor. This makes it more hard because um, most dogs are used to just being able to eat things that are on the floor. That's a good boy. Well done. So I don't give him the food, I don't tell him to go get the food on the floor. I use this um, this one a lot for like when you're outside and there's something he's not supposed to eat, but he's like going to. Like uh, it used to happen with horse poop a lot. <laughs> like if you're on a trail, you can say, leave it, don't eat the horse poop, right? Leave it. And then the dog looks at you and you can like give them a treat and like move past, which is great. It also works for like garbage. If they're, if they're eating garbage or rocks or something like that, it works for that too. So I'm going to do it again. Leave it. Very good. Well done. So I never say like go get it after I always hand him the treat. So I will pick it up and give it to them or I will just give them a different treat and leave the food on the ground. So it's never a release to go eat. Um, even though that's sometimes taught as a cute, a cute trick, I, it's not very useful in reality, in the real times. Leave it. 
well done. Good boy. Good job. Leave it. Well done. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good job, puppy dog. Okay. Let me just try bringing that food towards you again. Very nice. Good job. Well done. So smart. So I'm just going to start on a hen, a nose target. So I'm going to offer him my hand. Nice. And he mostly moves his nose towards it at first because it smells like food and he's just sniffing. And then I mark when I feel his nose hit my hand. He already has to shake a paw, so sometimes this hand signal, it's a little different. But it looks like the shake a paw, like shake a paw like this, like flat. And the hand signal for this is like uh, fingers pointed straight at the ground. So he'll figure that out. It's a little confusing right this second, but he'll figure it out. So you see how many repetitions I'm doing in a row? This is the best way to do a training session. Bunch of repetitions all in a row. He's already moving. He's so smart. <laughs> I love you, Hogan. You're the smartest boy. So if he doesn't do it, I take it away. He's trying to he's trying to give me a paw. Nice. Good. So if he doesn't do it right away or does something else, I take it away because I'm showing him that he's lost the opportunity to earn the reward there because my hand has been removed. Good. Almost faked me out there. You a faker router? getting a little tired so I'm just gonna stop there and then we'll uh, come back to this tomorrow well done you hate that don't you oh, okay no touching no touching <laughs>